Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia. It is described as a progressive neurodegenerative disorder. Ultimately, Alzheimer's causes nerve cells within the brain to die off, causing the brain to shrink. The two main locations affected by the shrinkage are the cerebral cortex and the hippocampus. Although the cause of Alzheimer's is unknown, it is believed to be from the presence of plaques and tangles. The progression of stages varies between individuals. In the early stage, the disease begins in the hippocampus and affects the medial temporal lobe, resulting in short-term memory loss such as difficulty remembering names or dates. The moderate stage is where the disease progresses to the lateral temporal and parietal lobes and eventually spreads to the frontal lobe. This expansion of the disease can cause poor judgment, impulsiveness, shortened attention, and difficulty in daily activities such as dressing and personal hygiene. Lastly, in the severe stage, the disease spreads to the occipital lobe and the cerebellum. This stage may include vision problems, loss of coordination, and trouble eating or speaking. Currently, over half a million Canadians are living with dementia. With over 25,000 new cases being diagnosed each year, it is estimated that the number of people living with dementia will almost double by the year 2031. 85% of patients living with Alzheimer's rely on family, friends, and neighbors for assistance with activities of daily living. Of those, 43% have formal care. Many people living with Alzheimer's also deal with other complex diseases such as heart disease, diabetes, hypertension, and incontinence. Physical activity has shown to be beneficial in all stages. There is now evidence suggesting that more vigorous exercise has beneficial outcomes for cognition and neurological impairment. Exercise may reduce the concentration of plaques in cognitive regions. This can lead to better cerebral blood flow, memory, and cerebrovascular activity. Individuals who exercise may experience less agitation, improved sleep, and reduced irregular behavior. To maximize the benefits of exercise, time of day should be considered. There is no one-size-fits-all approach with exercise for this population, so exercise prescription needs to be individualized. In the early stages, when getting someone involved in physical activity, their past occupation and hobbies should be taken into consideration. As the disease progresses into the moderate stage, exercise may become more difficult. Individuals are encouraged to stay active and maintain a high level of intensity. In the later stages, these individuals benefit from exercise carried out in shorter sessions with repetitive motions such as walking or jogging. Alzheimer's is a complex disease that affects everyone in a unique way. Although it cannot be stopped, exercise may help manage the symptoms and improve their quality of life.